Those Dark Trees, a video sculpture installation, uh, and it was done here in COA's uh, Ethel H. Blum Gallery. So the project manifested itself ultimately as an installation piece comprised of both video and assembled sculpture. And it was built to capture the liminal period or in-between moment um, that is both twilight and adolescence. Um, so the project in particular grew out of an idea to map myself into a space using traditional cartographic techniques with the addition of assemblage, video, and painting. Um, and specifically, I drew on my studies in existential and postmodern philosophy psychoanalysis, video art, um, as well as solitary, solitary explorations into the woods at night. And I worked with Drew, uh, as well as Nancy Andrews in video and Catherine Klinger in art history um, to articulate these into something that could be coherent and physical. So upon entering the gallery, the viewer steps into the narrative of an unknown subject, situated between sea waves and coastal conifers in a dark forest. The only refuge is found in a small, makeshift tent filled with the presumable supplies needed to traverse adulthood. And that's the tent that you saw on the previous slide. Um, and some items in that tent include a globe, a cookbook, a dictionary, and philosophical texts. This slide uh, is a, a map of the space that I created in order to help figure out how this would be articulated. And it shows the different elements of the installation. In the top left and lower right corners, top left and lower right corner, yep. Uh, are window frames that were suspended from, hung from the ceiling. Um, and on them were rear projections, one of conifers in the breeze and one of the Bass Harbor light. On the walls, um, which you also saw on the first, first slide, were film sli uh, slide projections um, from, I guess, yeah, if you'd say film, of uh, photographs taken during these nighttime explorations. And in the lower left-hand corner of the map is where the tent was assembled. Um, and it was a very much a makeshift tent from discarded wood and linens and things like that. Um, and in the top right hand corner, in order to block out the light and make the space dark during the day, um, was erected a wall um, with the help of buildings and grounds. And on that was painted the poem that I took the title from, um, which is a poem by Robert Frost called Into My Own. And there's also a soundscape for the installation um, in order to create this full sensory experience. Um, and for that, I used Mount Erie's album, Wind Poem, Wind's Poem. Mount Erie is an artist based out in, of Anascore, Washington. Um, and he's been described as, his music has been described as cavernous and downright primordial. The instruments resounding as though carved from bone and strung with wool. Natural and elemental Ill imagery abound. And the following slide is a very just quick video snapshot of the installation. Um, and so this is the poem as it was painted into the space. It stood about 10 feet high in order to block out the door. And I'll just read you the first stanza, because that's, that's where the title is taken from. One of my wishes is that those dark trees, so old and firm they scarcely show the breeze, were not as twere the merest mask of gloom, but stretched away unto the edge of doom. Um, and the poem goes on to talk about kind of coming of age in isolation uh, with oneself. So that's... That's it in brief. Uh, from here, I'm working on a video adaptation that you can kind of sit down and watch instead of step into. Um, and next year, I'll be taking a post-baccalaureate out uh, at the San Francisco Art Institute in video.